All right, this was sent into the channel by uh, Icy Station. I'll put a link below if you want to buy one of these. Um, it is a JBL, hmm, interesting, JBL WM-008. And so when you first take a look at it, it's uh, certainly an audio thing where it splits something into treble bass. Uh, I'm assuming it's maybe a crossover for a speaker. Um, I don't, I don't remember if there was specs on this or not, but uh, it's an interesting little circuit and there is uh, little jumpers in here. So uh, it comes with two jumpers so you can add two jumpers and um, the way that I have this set up is I have eight ohms, eight ohm resistors on the output. I'm sure, sure the uh, impedances of the uh, filters need eight ohms to on the outputs here. So I've got eight ohms and uh, yeah, so I, I traced the circuit out, so let's take a look at what it's doing. All right, so the audio comes in. Uh, on the bass side, it goes through a inductor, so that, that will uh, block AC and let DC through. And then there's a um, 220 microfarad, so a very large capacitor here to let through the bass. But there's, one of those jumpers is here, so probably that draw that in better. Uh, so this is a jumper and this is a jumper. So you can bypass that capacitor. Uh, in this leg, it's the AC path for the high, high frequencies goes through the uh, capacitor, blocks the, blocks the low frequency. And then you can uh, let through lower frequency by increasing the capacitance by adding this jumper. So that's what the two jumpers do. So I thought, uh, uh, previously I did a, a video on Bode plots, and this is a perfect example of why you might want to do a body, Bode plot. So let's go ahead and sweep this thing out and see, see what it does. All right, so it's a little complicated to set up. First of all, you have to, have, have to get the generator set up right. So let's see, make sure that that's ground. Okay, so the, so the input goes on the function generator. And then you need to monitor that with channel one. Okay, so scope probe needs to go on here. And then the output, uh, we'll pick one. Doesn't matter, let's pick, uh, let's pick treble. And make sure, yeah, this is that one. And then we'll add some grounds for our scope probes. These are grounds. All right, so it's a little cumbersome, but there we go. We've got it all, got it all set up. And let's go over to the scope, take a look. That'll be all right. I don't think I need to change the camera. All right, let's uh, start. I'm going to be uh, sweeping between 10 hertz and 10 kilohertz. All right, there we go. So the uh, treble is definitely coming up. It's not all the way up yet. Even at 10 kilohertz, it's not all the way up yet. There's still uh, still some gain there. So um, that's pretty weird. Let's go ahead and change the uh, parameters. Let's sweep it out to, uh, let's start at uh, one kilohertz, just to watch this part of it. And we'll stop at 100 kilohertz. And we'll sweep that much of it there. All right, so that just looks like it's rolling off here, you know, up up around 20 kilohertz. Uh, that just doesn't seem right to me for an audio application. So I'm going to insert one of those jumpers. And I think that will lower the frequency on the uh, on the treble. So that the uh, should I think those capacitors are the same value. So it should be half of what it was. Yep. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, it moved the point. It moved the point over. All right, let's sweep the base, see what the base does. Um, we will need to set the settings here. Let's go back down to uh, start out down here at 10 hertz. That's the lowest uh, that this uh, generator will go. And we'll scan it up to, oh, say 10 kilohertz. All right. And uh, start that. Okay, well, it's not what I expected. It's definitely a, a base cutoff. Uh, so it's rolling off the base. Uh, it's down 3 dB by 100 hertz. So, yeah, it's throwing away all those really, really low things. Um, let's go ahead. So that's because of that big 220 microfarad capacitor in the uh, drawing that I made. So let's go ahead and add the capacitor that shorts that uh, capacitor out. So. It should allow the base to go farther, farther down. Okay, there you go. Basically, it's pretty flat. There's like a, maybe a 1 dB boost down here in the base, and then everything else is flat. Uh, we could take a look at a chart. Um, so down here at 10 hertz, there's a half a dB gain, and then we're flat by 40, 40 hertz. Um, 25 hertz, we're a 0.4 dB gain. Yeah, so it's a slight little bit of base boost, but hardly any to speak about. Anyway, I don't know why you would want to put this in a, in a, uh, in a circuit. So <laughs> uh, anyway, it might be good for experimentation, maybe put different values in it stuff. Uh, I think it's super cheap. Uh, so anyway, there you go.